Howdy y'all, welcome back, thank you for being here. For centuries, the landscape, which we know today as Greece, with its ancient monuments and unforetold discoveries, was well known to scholars, but almost off limits to travelers. With Greek independence, the artworks, relics, and artifacts of ancient Greece became the centerpiece to many lavish collections and museums, both private and public. With the 1832 proclamation of Otto, Prince of Bavaria, as the King of Greece came a detailed archaeological survey of the Greek landscape. What followed was a focus specifically on Athens, which was documented and excavated in great detail. At the time of the earliest photographs of Athens, the city had roughly 5,000 residents, scattered amongst the ancient ruins and small houses built around the Acropolis. The excavations revealed structures far exceeding even the most distinguished of historians' imaginations. Athens was chosen as the Greek capital, due in part to the nature of these immense ruins. One of the main focuses today will be the Acropolis, of which modern Athens seems to be shaped around. According to the narrative, the Acropolis is an ancient citadel, located on a rocky outcrop above the city of Athens. The site has a long and rich history, dating back to the 5th century BC, when the Athenian leader Pericles oversaw the construction of the Parthenon, one of the most iconic buildings of ancient Greece. These structures will be the subject in many of the earliest photographs of Athens, which we will look at today. The Parthenon and the other buildings of ancient Athens were seriously damaged by Venetians during a 1687 siege, in which powder that for some reason was being stored in or around the Parthenon was ignited. This occurred during the Sixth Ottoman-Venetian War. Today, we will look at the first surviving photographs of Athens, Greece taken from the year 1850 through the year 1900. These are amazingly detailed photographs from a handful of different sources, including museums. I want to focus on the architecture, which as always speaks for itself, but the Acropolis seemingly led the way for numerous other buildings in the ancient world, from others in ancient Greece to buildings in ancient Rome to take shape having a similar design. When looking at the Acropolis, we see numerous instances of the foundations being built upon by subsequent groups, leading to a history as mysterious as it is confounding. The site of ancient Athens, already fortified according to this narrative, was inherited by Pericles and built upon with gusto to the incredible size that we see today. That being said, if history is always written by the winners, can we really deduce the true origins of the original structures of Athens simply by reading the current narrative? The reign of Greek architecture is best showcased in these, the first images of Athens. The Acropolis is one of the most intriguing ancient forms that we have, if not frustrating and confusing based off the origins. Greek mythology leaves us with little answers. The first people of Athens had a myth that the first king of Athens was, according to this legend, a half-serpent hybrid. With this and other mysteries in our belt, one thing we can do to truly try to understand and comprehend the history of Athens is to view these first photographs ever taken in the area and to view them with a grain of salt, as we never know what we might uncover next. I've tried to translate and label every photograph in this video so you can have a better understanding of what you're looking at. I've tried to keep all of the photos to the area of Athens, but mixed in here were a few other photographs from nearby areas and just some that really stood out to me. These were all in a greater collection that I've put together of ancient Athens, of ancient Greece, but I believe that these were the best photographs that showed all of the detailed architecture and all of the growth that was beginning to happen as well as the excavations that were beginning to happen. So I just wanted to share these with you. I would love to hear your thoughts and your opinions in the comment section down below. If you are not subscribed to the channel, please consider doing so. We are almost at 100,000 subscribers and I can't wait to hit that milestone with you and because of you. I can't wait to hear what you have to say about Athens, about ancient Greece and anything relating to the old world down below. We will talk soon and I will see you on the next video.